Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid, my DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, former Real Madrid midfield man Carlos Casemiro talks Real Madrid exit Carlo Ancelotti, Ronaldo, Messi, Kylian Mbappe and the Champions League. We are going to be discussing you through that on this episode as we progress and shortly after that we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid captain Nacho Fernandez, after informing the club that he will leave in the summer, has made it clear that he won't continue for any Spanish club as he does not wish to face Real Madrid. We are going to be discussing you through that as well on this episode as we progress so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Casemiro will go down as an absolute legend at Real Madrid for everything he achieved during his tenure at the club. Having formed an iconic midfield trident with Luka Modric and Toni Kroos, the Brazilian enforced played an integral role in the success that Los Blancos achieved for a good part of the last decade. However, Casemiro decided to leave Real Madrid for Manchester United during the summer of 2022, a decision that made manager Carlo Ancelotti very emotional as per a recent revelation from the midfielder. Only once did I have doubt about coming to United. All that was left was to sign and I go to talk to Carlo Ancelotti and when I go to his office, he's crying. He told me that he loved me very much and not to leave, but I had already given my word to United, Casemiro revealed. Explaining his decision to leave Real Madrid for Manchester United, Casemiro remarked, I wanted new things, a new challenge. I had already won everything, it wasn't easy because people didn't let me leave so easily, but I was clear. it was clear to me, United have been very good for me from day one. On when he made the decision to leave Casemiro, added, it was after winning the Champions League. I was at a very good age and had the energy to keep learning. Casemiro then discussed Real Madrid UEFA Champions League penalty shootout win against Manchester City in the quarterfinals this week, claiming that as a Madrid dista, he suffered during the game. I suffered as a Madrid fan. Of course, Madrid went through, but I suffered for Madrid. I already knew City have very good players and an incredible coach who knows what he is playing. Madrid defended, defended and defended. I am very happy for my former teammate, he, con he replied. In his opinion, it is difficult to explain Real Madrid's eternal love affair with their favorite competition, the Champions League. It is a team that transforms itself in the Champions League. It has the star quality the ball from Haaland that hit the crossbar and goes out. It is something incredible. This team in the Champions League is incredible, Casemiro remarked. The DNA is to win. If you only win the league, you haven't won the Champions League. That's how it is. The demand doesn't exhaust you. You enjoy it. You always have to push hard. That is what it is to play for Real Madrid, the pressure every day, he added. During the interview, Casemiro was also full of praises for his former Real Madrid teammate Cristiano Ronaldo as well as his rival Lionel Messi as he said. We have enjoyed and we don't realize what Messi did, what Cristiano did. We don't value much what Cristiano did in football and what he is doing. Last year he scored 50 goals. What are you going to say about a player like that? Real Madrid looking promised 
to sign Kylian Mbappe as a free agent in the summer. Casemiro also had words of praises for the Frenchman, even drawing comparison between him and Ronaldo. Mbappe is one of the best at the moment, if not the best. He is very quick, intelligent, he has a strike, he is a buck. He reminds me a lot of Cristiano. He is on the pitch, but he is in danger of scoring. Casemiro said, Cristiano was like that. He is smelling the goal. You have to be worried because he is going to score. Those are star players and Mbappe has that. Against Barca the other day, he didn't have a good game. He finished off and goes off with two goals. You can smell it on the pitch, Casemiro concluded as quoted by Mundo Deportivo. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid captain does not plan to continue in Spain as summer exit looms. Nacho Fernandez has reportedly conveyed to the Real Madrid management that he wishes to leave the club at the end of the season. With Eder Militao, Antonio Rudiger and David Alaba already there and a new centre-back coming in, the captain realises that he might not enjoy much prominence next season. The veteran's contract with Real Madrid ends this summer and a renewal is now out of the question. At 34 years of age, the big question that now remains is clear. Will Nacho continue at an elite European club or move to a fringe league? As revealed by Fabrizio Romano in a recent update, Nacho will take some time before deciding his next club. As it stands, his complete focus is on the final games of the season and towards winning both titles with Real Madrid. The club captain has no interest in staying in La Liga and a departure from Spain is likely for the first time in his long career. After all, he does not want to play against his boyhood club and the club of his dreams, Real Madrid. Inter Milan have been linked with Nacho for several transfer windows now, but a move to Italy appears complicated as well, adds the Italian journalist. With his decision to leave Real Madrid now clear, Nacho has attracted interest from both Saudi Arabia and the MLS in the United States. While the former do indeed offer more lucrative salary to players, Nacho prioritizes his family life and experience alongside his football and is thus leaning towards the MLS. Nothing has been signed so far and it remains to be seen what the captain finally decides. As it stands, the only objective is to send off Nacho with the ultimate honor in his hands, the UEFA Champions League. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.